Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain tuned radio frequency receiver with great clarity. First of all, let me explain the block diagram of tuned radio frequency receiver. See in this block diagram, here first element is antenna. This antenna that will be receiving electromagnetic waves. So antenna will be receiving EM waves and over here it will provide RF signal. So here I am noting that as FRF. So frequency of this received signal by antenna will be RF frequency. This signal that we give it to RF stage. See in RF stage we have two elements. First element over here is tuned circuit and second element is RF amplifier. See this tuned circuit that is required to tune particular channel. That even I will explain by one practical example that will give you more clarity. Right now consider this RF stage that is having tuned circuit and RF amplifier. Here received signal is weak in strength. That's why we need amplification. So here RF frequency is there. That's why we need RF amplifier. So what obviously here we will be having RF signal only but here RF signal that is there with one channel only. Here we receive all the channels using EM waves and after tuning we will be having only one channel over here that is having RF frequency only and but obviously this channel is modulated to extract message signal we need to do demodulation. So after demodulation, here we will be having message frequency and that message signal that is weak in strength. So after audio amplifier, we will be giving it to loudspeaker. Here our application is based on voice communication. That's why I have placed loudspeaker over here. Now let me consider one practical application. So here I'll be considering application of AM broadcast. See in AM broadcast, we have frequency range from 550 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz. So in this frequency range, there are so many channels. See this antenna that will be receiving all the channels, right? So all channels which is having frequency range from 550 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz that is available over here. Now see in your radio what you will be doing you will be listening only one channel at a time that tuning that we do it with the use of tuned circuit. So tuned circuit that will be tuning particular channel right. So here See this tuned circuit that will be tuning channel, right? So tuning of channel is done by tuned circuit and quality of tuning that is depending on quality factor. So quality factor that is center frequency divided by bandwidth. In my last video, I have discussed about this, right? quality factor that is center frequency divided by bandwidth and based on quality factor here we will be having one channel only and that is having RF frequency only and after demodulation we will be having audio message signal over here that is weak in strength so after amplification we give it to amplifier. Now let me consider few case studies and based on that you will get to know what are the issues which is there with this block diagram. So let me consider first case. See in case 1 I will be considering one channel and that channel that is there at 1000 kilohertz. Right. So here I will be considering center frequency that is there at 1000 kilohertz that is one channel and one should know see with voice communication here 
मैसेज सिग्नल विल बी हैविंग फ्रीक्वेंसी अप टू फाइव किलो हर्ट्स राइट लेट अस कंसीडर इट इज देयर अप टू फाइव किलो हर्ट्स एंड नाउ सी दिस इज व्हाट वी वांट टू प्रोवाइड एज अ ऑडियो सिग्नल ओवर हियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी कैलकुलेट व्हाट इज द क्वालिटी फैक्टर ओवर हियर सो हियर वन शुड नो द बैंड विथ ऑफ ए एम सिग्नल इफ यू हैव एम्पलीटेड मॉडलेशन एज पर डबल साइड बैंड फुल कैरियर देन बैंडविड विल बी टू टाइम्स ऑफ मैसेज सिग्नल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दैट विल बी टेन किलो हर्ट्स राइट नाउ हियर इफ यू कैलकुलेट क्वालिटी फैक्टर दैट इज सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइड बाई बैंडविड देन सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज थाउजेंड किलो हर्ट्स बैंडविड इज टेन सो हियर क्वालिटी फैक्टर दैट इज हंड्रेड राइट सो वी नीड हंड्रेड क्वालिटी फैक्टर दैट इज क्वाइट हाई ओवर हियर still there is some issues if you have quality factor that is about 100 then also this receiver is having issues let me explain that by another case study so now what i'll do is i'll consider second case and in case 2 here i'll consider center frequency that is 1600 kilohertz right and here with this center frequency if you have this quality factor right that we have decided based on channel number 1 that is there at 1000 kilohertz so if you have quality factor that is 100 that is quite high but if you have this circuit still there will be issue let me discuss about this see here as i have told you quality factor that is center frequency divided by bandwidth so bandwidth will be सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइड बाय क्वालिटी फैक्टर सो हियर सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज 1600 किलो हर्ट्ज डिवाइड बाय क्वालिटी फैक्टर दैट इज 100 सो बैंडविड्थ इज 16 किलो हर्ट्ज सो हियर विद दिस चैनल रिसीव्ड बैंडविड्थ इज 16 किलो हर्ट्ज बट प्रैक्टिकली व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट मैसेज सिग्नल एज पर ऑडियो एट अ टाइम बैंडविड्थ दैट हैज टू बी 10 किलो हर्ट्ज बट विद दिस हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी bandwidth is increasing right so one conclusion that you can draw is at higher frequencies bandwidth is increasing right bandwidth is increasing and as bandwidth is increasing there is a possibility that there will be adjacent channel interference so due to this there will be adjacent channel interference let me explain how there is adjacent channel interference so here see we have multiple channels right and as per message signal of audio bandwidth of particular channel that should be up to 10 kilohertz only so let us consider here this is channel number 2 that is there as per 1600 kilohertz right so this channel that is there at 1600 kilohertz and as per this circuit as per this circuit which is having 100 quality factor here bandwidth that is 16 kilohertz so practically whenever you are receiving it at a time it won't be 10 kilohertz over here it will go up to 16 kilohertz so this is 10 kilohertz so 16 kilohertz that will be having additional bandwidth right so 16 kilohertz that is somewhat this much right and as we have higher bandwidth over here what is happening you see this portion of the signal that is there with this channel and this portion of the signal that is there with this channel that is getting received over here with this tuned circuit so there is adjacent channel interference due to quality factor that is fixed right if you have 100 quality factor that is good 100 quality factor of tuned circuit that is quite good but still at higher frequencies there is a possibility that there is adjacent channel interference and that is happening due to higher bandwidth at higher frequencies right so you can observe there should be 10 kilohertz of bandwidth 
with this adjacent channels but at high frequency here bandwidth is more with this tuned circuit right due to which it will be extracting this information as well as this information so at higher frequencies you will be observing there is more noise in am radio if you have this particular tuned radio frequency receiver right but this issue that one can resolve using super heterodyne receiver that i'm going to explain you in future coming videos thank you so much for watching this video